Alright, hello everybody. I'm Tundra. I'm back for part two of my part beginner tutorial for Skyward Sword. Anyways, last time we were um we were about to get our bird. So uh yeah, like I was saying, as soon as you just come out of that tunnel, yeah you just obviously roll to the right. Skyloft in itself is um it's pretty ex it's pretty easy. There isn't too much to say about Skyloft besides like back in time. That's the only thing. And we're actually gonna be using back in time a lot here coming up in a minute. But these ropes, uh I don't really know about them. What I like to do is I like to run up, jump slash, do a spin attack, side hop. Yeah, the ropes like to troll me, and yeah, just like that. It it's it's really trolly at first. Uh, the motion controls, don't get me wrong, they're fun, but they will fuck you up on runs constantly. I just like to mash down on the D-pad, there, quarter bird. And when you get into this flying part, just you know, there's not much to say about it. mess around with it. Make sure you're like mashing the text still though. Or not mashing. Discovered sort of special way of text. get to this part right here. There's gonna be a save, save and quit screen and things like that. We wanna do is save and quit. And this is when the corrupt file comes in hand. The sail cloth, we're skipping it, and what the corrupt file does is we activate back in time through death, so the corrupt file will automatically kill us because it has zero hearts. When you load it up, you automatically die, so sometimes it's the fastest way to activate back in time. In this case, it is. That wasn't too loud. I really need a mic, so. Same as always, just run off this thing. We will be using the other bird statues at points in time. Well, you can if you want to. But. Why am I lining up for this? <laughs> this isn't even... Yeah, you just... You do that again. You save, and then right after that you start. I think in a previous video I said you start and you save. Um, I should have corrected myself then. You, you actually save first, and then you start. Now you wanna come in here and place the tablet. We got our bird, so we can just completely skip the cell cloth now. It's not needed in a harp run in the full any percent route it does though, because it blocks a certain door if you don't get the cell cloth. 
But we don't have to worry about that because we're just getting hard. Yeah, I like to hold A before this cutscene starts because if you if you press A while the while not the cutscene when you get back in game you'll talk to the headmaster and it's just stupid. It's actually possible to skip this right here, the adventure pouch, but I highly recommend it. You can skip it by doing back in time, but I. You, you need it, you don't need it, <laughs> what am I thinking? It's it's really useful because the shield, you, you put the shield in the pouch, and we're about to get a free shield right out here. Oh wow, that was bad. The shield speeds up fights and it just, it's a really useful item for blocking enemies and stuff like that. I am really bad at talking, so... I like to put the shield right there before I go in here. Where you jump off to call your lock wing right up here. Uh, I don't know why I'm bad at it. It's a silly thing to be bad at, but it's. I'm not sure why this happens like this. But if you're running, let's say you're about to run off, and you run kind of at an angle. Oh my god, it actually works. Nah, I don't actually want to... Nah. Well, I'm gonna let myself die. Now, nah, but I have a couple things to explain right here. I really shouldn't go into this much detail with this, but... I mean... Sorry about that. But anyways, sometimes I run at an angle, and it won't... I won't jump off. I'll just like yeah. keep running like this and I'll jump off this thing right here. It's really annoying. So I learned to just run straight off, don't run an angle anymore. But here's how I determine this. You don't want to do that. <laughs> how I like to line it up is see that little edge thing right not right there, but right there. You wanna get past that. <laughs> And you should spawn, or yeah, spawn, whatever the word for that is I'm looking for. But you should be closer to the giant green pillar. And if you don't actually, if you, you can spawn farther away if you, if you call your loft wing as soon as you jump right away. So I advise, you know, go to the left a little bit. But up here, there's a fee text box. We can skip that. And the way I like to do it is when when I get my last charge, I like to use it, then jump off kind of quickly when you see the bird, the crow guy, and that's just how I like to do it. I guess it's not super precise, but it saves a little bit of time. So like, right... oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> I missed. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to get this. You can actually skip that. It's I I'm not gonna go into too much detail with it. You just like dive off and lean towards a pillar before Fee talks to you. And yeah, you should be able to skip her. I can't believe I missed that. That was ridiculous.
When you can use a sailcloth, well, well, wait a second. When he's falling down like this, and you have the ability to use a sailcloth, just don't use it at all. He'll pull it out instantly. Like that, I didn't press B at all. I just hold 2 in that motion. Alright, these guys up here, these guys are giant pricks. There's a couple of strats for him, like... Like, not that. I'm literally going to die now. Why? I need to play with sound. Anyways, you can like... Do a backflip and run past them. Side hop. Or you could shield bash them, but it's kind of hard because I'm playing without si uh, sound for recording purposes. Yeah, like that. But you want to get all six of your hearts because we actually skip the, um, well, we obviously skip the sailcloth. And jumping off right here kills you. You'll die from jumping off right here. Yeah. So you don't want to do that. I'm really bad. And I died. But you definitely don't want to do that. Once you get past all the, um, Bacobans, I th no, they're not Bacobans. I don't even know what they're called. You want to jump slash to cancel the damage animation. Usually when you fall, you'll get like a... He'll fall, and he'll do a little animation. That's no good. You don't want that, because that wastes a little bit of time. So it's faster to cancel it with doing a jump slash. You still take the damage, but it's faster. I just like to hold the, the sword out link. Link get the sword out pieces. Please. This is more like a let's play. There's a lot of upcoming text here. Which is really annoying. I really don't like Fee talking all the time, but one good thing about her text box is you can actually see where it ends faster to like know when to press A like that. So, timing text for Fee boxes is really easy. Anyways, there's a certain, um, there's some certain air thingies, air vents you need to use. Run out the one right behind you. Oh, I can't even do yeah. You just run up those two. Turn left. And then just do some more. We get a um, we get a shield potion in here. I guess it's skippable, but. It's pretty useful at some point. I would really recommend getting it if it's your first couple of runs in this game because this game is very unforgiving. So you just run over here, get this chest. I like to hold like down left here. Just keep holding it. He runs over here, triggers the cutscene. And then Impo will talk to you forever. It's not very fun. Here the beacons will probably troll you. It's it's stupid. I like to zoom in. You don't have to, but I like to just to make sure you don't get trolled. See, that was not good. 
I can't aim. I can't even do a scourge strike today. <laughs> Great tutorial, idiot. Here, YOLO. Oh, yeah. You don't have to zoom in there, but I like to just make sure I don't get the extra text ah. box. There's a cool fight coming up right here. Um, taking out hordes of Koglins with the um, Skyward Strike is... I guess it can be difficult at first, but it's... It's one of the reasons why Hero Mode is a better choice for speedrunning this game. The Skyward Strikes are way more powerful. They're like the equivalent of the regular Master Sword. And regular mode. What I like to do here is charge it up, get to this guy, make sure they all notice me. Backflip like three times and do a slash. And I guess that can be... Uh, I, I wish I could explain that better. It's not too complicated once you get it down. It's actually really easy. Don't worry about it if you don't get like two of them, something to back to. I used to like not wait for them to notice me and start back uh, backflipping and uh, immediately before the mm. other two would see me. The first two would start walking at you and I would do it then. But you want to make sure the back, the, the, the ones in the back are walking at you too or you're not going to get those. Gorka talks for a long time. Right here, you want to make sure you have at least that much stamina right there before you push this log. That's what I get to. What? Okay. <laughs> Today is not my day. It, it, it shouldn't do that, but... Yeah. Alright. So when you get in here, just hold two and then... I like to do a roll, but... Next time, I'm going to show you... Hopefully we'll get through all of regular Faron Woods. So we can go into the deep woods. And there's a really crazy trick there that I'm probably not going to have very much fun explaining. But, we'll get there when we get there, so... Next next part will probably be out in a couple of, next couple of days. So again, I hope this helps you guys. Leave any messages to me if you want to know more. And thank you for watching.